Well, Victoria Day long weekend has long been pegged as the unofficial start to summer and with a rough and soggy start to spring right here in the GTA. Many just took the for opportunity to enjoy the beach for today, but even if it wasn't quite beach weather yet. People just told me that whatever happens, happens and just kind of roll with it. So luckily we, you know, we lucked out. Three, two, one. It was a risk Leanne Waits and her groom Marcus Need were hoping would pan out for one of the biggest days of their lives. A wedding that wouldn't be complete without photos by the beach. I definitely wanted to kind of be at the beach just because, you know, I lived in Bermuda and he lives by the Jersey Shore. So I just thought the beach would be very symbolic. So I just kind of was worried about that. I mean, it's a little chilly today. It would have been nicer if it was a little bit warmer, but it's still a good day, you know. Got my bride by my side and that's all that matters. Temperatures may still be on the cool side but the GTA is at least finally basking in some sun. Did the rain bother you at all? Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> I couldn't ride my bike. I hated it. <laughs> Why is that? Because then we'll have indoor recesses then I have to do homework in the classroom <laughs> instead of going out for recess. This was how the GTA started off spring. As the weather rained in some havoc, flooding parts of the region including a city favorite. Rising water levels forced the city to close Toronto Island, saying it would take several weeks for the water to subside. Last month, Ashbridge's Bay experienced the worst flooding in at least half a century, as one third of the volleyball courts was underwater. I think a lot of the players were panicking because they were going, what's actually going to happen with it? But folks are singing a different tune today, with volleyball players once again enjoying the game. It seemed a little dreary, but now everything's green and the trees are budding and, you know, it's it's starting to dry up a little. As many are ready to put the rainy days behind, Woodbine Beach played host to the summer enthusiast who just couldn't wait for some beach time, spending time in the sun, on the sand and in the water to kick off what many consider to be the unofficial launch of summer. I've got my shorts on. And I'm ready for the beach. Uh, a lot of the people are complaining about the cold and the wind, but hey, the sun's out and uh, and it's it's be it's beach time. You're forcing it. You're really forcing Absolutely. it. Absolutely.